Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Khurram Dastagir says that for getting the status of most favoured nation, it is imperative that India must remove non-tariff barriers for Pakistani products and provide level playing field. If it is done, ensuing trade will create interdependency which may ultimately lead to peace. The minister advocates the need for closer trade links between the two countries in various sectors, including textiles. Even a 10% share in Indian market would give a boost to industry and economy in Pakistan. Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif has taken steps to promote healthy bilateral relationships with India. Now same is expected from the other side. India needs to address Pakistan's concerns with regard to tariffs and non-tariff barriers especially in the textile and agriculture sectors. And until market access is provided, let's call it a level playing field again, to Pakistan's exports in these sectors by addressing the issues, a large section of Pakistani businesses will remain apprehensive about opening up the Pakistani market to India. Secretary General of the Consumer Unity and Trust Society, Cuts International, says bilateral trade between the two countries is currently far below than the desired. There is ample evidence to suggest underutilization of trade opportunities that exist between India and Pakistan. He believes that the facilitation could triple the annual trade volume to $12 billion. The benefit to consumers and producers in both countries owing to enhanced bilateral trade would be manifold. Whether it's India or Pakistan or any country, the problem is the following. You design good policies, you design good intentions, you don't meet timelines. The problem always in three words. Implementation, implementation and implementation. This is the trick of the whole thing and that doesn't happen. Indian High Commissioner to Pakistan says effective collaboration between the two countries would be mutually beneficial. Longer trading hours, opening up of more border crossing points and reducing the negative list could be some of the immediate my years to start with. Such discussions are very, very important for our bilateral relations and for the stability of those relations for the future. Uh, I would like to specially congratulate the SDPI and Cuts International because apart from academic rigor, what is most important is uh, commitment and public advocacy. And both these institutions have shown that in full measure. President of Pakistan India CEO's Business Forum emphasized that peace process between the two countries should be in the private hands. Since the business community do not carry a baggage, it could be effective in resolving issues. Promoting cricket between the two countries may also provide a good platform for building peace. Business community in Pakistan is excited about the opportunity. An endorsement came from the resident of Stamba Chamber of Commerce and Industry. We should become people who influence policies like we do in our normal business uh, also, we do influence government policies. So should be the case in the case of uh, international politics and, and regional politi politics. And not only influence, but also we should be part of the decision-making process. Pakistan realizes that the liberalization of bilateral trade between Pakistan and India would not only lend impetus to both economies, but also remove the barriers to regional integration within South Asia. The potential advantage for Pakistan from broader regional economic integration appears to be large. Going well beyond the immediate creation of trade flows, capital investments and joint economic ventures, corporations in the field of IT, science and technology, research and development would all in likelihood boost productivity of domestic industries and stimulate economic growth. With SDTV team, this is Anam Lodi, SDTV, Islamabad.